A local initiative has been working to increase access to food on the east side of Indianapolis, and now it's planning to expand even more. WRTV's Nadja Woods shows us how the Plant to Plate project is providing fresh foods through urban farming. Come here. The sound of chickens clucking is not something you typically hear on the east side of Indianapolis. But at one urban farm, it's a part of their everyday routine. We're a source of protein, um, you know, fresh farm fresh eggs, um, antibiotic free. Um, and so it's definitely something else that we can offer um, the community and pantries. And the community is the biggest reason Adam Lowry joined Pastor Donnell Howard to start the Plant to Plate project in 2015 outside of Howard's church on Hovey Street. It's since expanded to a seven acre lot in the Avondale Meadows neighborhood. So we spent a couple years uh, strategizing and putting together a plan for the Northeast Corridor's uh, food ecosystem. And it's really allowed a lot of the growers out here to develop their farms. I know it's hard to imagine right now, but in just a few short months, this community garden will be blooming with vegetables. Well, we grow a lot of common vegetables, but we also like to grow um, a diverse um, set of, you know, heirloom uh, vegetables, uh, traditional African vegetables, Jamaican vegetables. We do a lot of squash. Um, I do a lot of herbs. Fresh food options are essential for a community that has less than a handful of grocery stores, most recently adding Indy's Fresh Market. This area of town is um, definitely considered a food desert. We have um, some of the highest rates of diabetes and heart disease in this area, and so we just want to be able to provide the community with fresh, healthy food. Being from Mississippi, we're used to people eating vegetables and stuff grown on the side of their house. so. We wanted to do the same thing and to allow our children, our youth, and our seniors to have fun growing their own vegetables. So it became a fun project, but also a necessary project. Growth that will go hand in hand with educating younger generations. And we would teach them about how to grow their own food, how to use sustainable methods to build up a garden, and just, just different ways that we can be more self-sufficient. Plant to Plate now looking to do some building of its own to provide even more resources to the community. But we are going to expand. That's the, the plan is this year. And so we're hoping to all, also all the farmers get our food on the grocery store shelves eventually too. Naja Woods, WRTV. The Plant to Plate project also offers a free food box outside its location on East 42nd Street. It also partners with other local organizations to deliver fresh food kits to homebound residents in the area.